Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a great article today, the 21st of March, 2012, on BoxingScene.com, in which Jeff Mayweather talks about the possibility of a fight between Floyd Mayweather and Sergio Martinez. Now, let me just say that um, I think that fight is a very close fight. I have a bias. I don't even understand what's going on in boxing right now. I don't understand why Sergio Martinez is not being mentioned in the same breath with Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Certainly Martinez is fighting much tougher competition. Let's remember that two of the three guys Martinez has fought recently, right, Darren Barker and Sergei Eisenzurich, were unbeaten going into the matches. The third, Matthew Macklin, according to German TV, should have been given the decision over middleweight champion Felix Stern, right? Martinez has been calling out Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a fight, I think, that would be a mismatch in Martinez's favor. Martinez wants to fight Floyd and Manny, is willing to lose weight to make the fight happen, and is publicly on record as saying he would take 25%. He would not insist on pay parity against Floyd Mayweather. So I'd like to know why that fight's not happening. I'm totally perplexed when I'm hearing Larry Merchant claim that this great fighter should gain weight, gain more weight, to fight at a division eight pounds higher. I'm completely perplexed when Great writers like Kevin Iole, he's an excellent boxing writer on Yahoo Sports, opines that Martinez should fight James Kirkland. I mean, wouldn't it be ridiculous if Manny Pacquiao were calling out Floyd Mayweather and someone instead suggested that Pacquiao fight another contender instead of fighting the best possible opponent out there? Sergio Martinez is doing the right thing by calling out the very best. Let's remember, he's in his late 30s, right? It's now or never. He wants to fight the very best. So now we get a piece uh, that quotes Jeff Mayweather. Mayweather claims that Floyd Mayweather, right, a member of his family, a relative, would tag Sergio Martinez all night. And further, that Floyd is faster than than Sergio Martinez. Now let's let's think about those statements. First, let me say this. Other than Antonio Margarito, has anybody tagged Sergio Martinez with regularity? Anybody. And the Margarito fight was several years ago before Martinez became the fighter he is. Right? Looking at that Margarito fight would be like looking at the first Castillo Floyd Mayweather fight, right? I haven't seen Sergio Martinez for several years get tagged with any regularity by anyone. More importantly, if we're talking about speed, even if you believe that Floyd has the faster hands, the question is would Floyd be close enough to Sergio Martinez? for that to be an issue. In other words, I would argue at this stage, even though Martinez is older than Floyd, I would say that Martinez moves much better than Floyd. Understand too, that conventional wisdom can get turned on its head by a master. And I know when we're talking about young fighters, we always say, hey, he should keep his hands up to defend himself, right? It's, it's ridiculous to say to a young fighter, hey, don't don't keep your hands up. Just drop your hands. But with a guy who knows his way around the ring and who is a master of spacing like Sergio Martinez, I believe him dropping his hands 
actually destabilizes his opponent, right? Particularly a counterpuncher like Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather's looking for small openings to hit a guy with. Here you have an opponent who's too far away for Floyd to hit him, and the opponent's dropping his hands, basically saying to an opponent, go ahead and try to hit me, right? It's sensory overload. If you're a counterpuncher and you're just hoping for a little daylight and you're trying to figure out a punch pattern so you can slip that, you know, right hand in over the uh, guy's left and suddenly the guy drops his hands, is bobbing and weaving and is himself a counterpuncher, right? And is playing a distance game where he's so far away from you, you can't touch him with your jab. Right? Understand the stakes involved. You throw a punch that misses Sergio Martinez. Martinez might come down the pike with a straight left hand. He's a southpaw and might punish you. In fact, he might take you out. Let's think about his last three fights. Right? Zenzurik down multiple times. Barker stopped. Matthew Macklin down multiple times and stop. Martinez, at the end of the day, if there's an illusion with Martinez, it's that he's a boxer. This guy actually has a big punch. He's not just winning fights, folks. He's winning them by stoppage. And when you look at the quality of his opposition, a former champ like Sergi Eisen Zurich, for example, and he is the only man to beat him, and he does it in multiple knockdown fashion, then really, let me just say, shame on anyone who wants Martinez to fight anybody other than champs like Manny, Floyd, and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Right? So I think Jeff Mayweather, who calls Sergio Martinez's style whack, might be too absorbed in the style he prefers, right? The problem with trainers is that they fall in love with a certain style, right? Emmanuel Stewart's boxers all like to hit you with a jab and come with the dominant hand behind the jab. Think Vladimir Klitschko, think Lennox Lewis. Think about the similarities between those two guys, right? I think they have a hard time understanding a new style where a guy is jumping around the ring, but yet isn't running, right? While he's jumping around the ring, he's somehow able to get off power shots to drop guys like Barker and Zenzurik, who've never lost before, right? To drop a guy like Matthew Macklin, who, going into the fight, had a pretty good chin, right? So... The question with Martinez against Floyd, and I'll agree, Floyd probably has the faster hands up close. But the question is, would Floyd be able to get up close? In fact, if you move better than Floyd, doesn't there come a time when Floyd's defensive body armor, having his hands up always in a defensive stance, starts to feel like luggage. I mean, if you move well enough away from Mayweather and can fight off your back foot, doesn't there come a time when Mayweather's defense, always being in a defensive stance, starts to work against him? Mayweather has been blessed in that his last few opponents, Mosley, inexplicably Victor Ortiz who has the talent to fight off his back foot um, inexplicably these guys just came at Floyd Mayweather right so when we think of Floyd's brilliance really it's brilliance against the styles of the men who fought him what happens if a guy can actually fight off his back foot force Floyd to actually come forward in fact let me say this Martinez was actually expecting Macklin to come forward on him. That's what Martinez himself said after the fight. And what threw him off for the first four rounds was that Macklin fought off his back foot. Right? Well, what happens 
if Floyd tries to come forward on Martinez, would he be effective? I think that's an open question. I don't know the answer to that. What if Floyd tries to fight off his back foot and Martinez tries to fight off his back foot? If the guys are far away from each other, who has the power that can travel the longest distance? I'll say this. I've seen Martinez knock guys out from way outside. Right? Look at the Darren Barker uh, film. Martinez is circling him, comes in, hits him on the side of the head quickly. Right? Is Floyd that kind of knockout puncher? You know, I know we all have pet fights we want to see. For some, it's Vladimir against Vitaly. For others, it's Manny against Floyd. Right? You have others. People want to see Manny Marquez 4. They want to see uh, Margarito Cotto 3. For me, the fight I want to see right now is Martinez against Floyd. I think that fight would be a fight between the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. And I don't understand the boxing commentators who want Martinez fighting non-championship level talent, right? If you're one of the best in the sport pound-for-pound, pound, then really the goal should be to fight others at that level, right? If there's a champion like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and you know you can beat him and you're in the same weight class then he's someone you want to think about. If Floyd Mayweather is fighting Miguel Cotto at 154 pounds and you can get down to 154 why wouldn't you want to fight the winner of that fight? Right, And if Manny Pacquiao, who at one point was the champ at 154 pounds, is being told by God that he needs to wrap it up soon, don't you want to call out Manny Pacquiao to get that fight while you have a chance to get it? Right? I disagree with Jeff Mayweather. I think Martinez Mayweather is a live fight. And uh, Floyd... After he takes care of business against Miguel Cotto, I think he's going to have many options. Let me just say this. Canelo is young. He'll be there if you beat Sergio Martinez. Right? Martinez is 37 years old. There's a certain age urgency. Right? Make the Martinez fight now. You beat Martinez, then you still have Canelo. You still have millions of dollars to make on that fight. As for Manny Pacquiao, all I could say is this. We all want to see a Floyd Pacquiao fight. Hasn't happened for years, right? The players remain the same. If you can't make the deal with Bob Arum, if there's still an issue on drug testing or whatever, uh, my point is simply move on to the other guys who, quite frankly, are on the pound-for-pound -pound list. And Sergio Martinez is there. He's demanding the best, as he should. Let's hope it happens. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.